Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, as we continue with day two of the Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle Week, I have a special guest today named Yelena from Yelly's Bellies, and she is one of the contributors to the Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle. What is the Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle, you may ask? Well, it's a collection of 111 distinct items, ebooks, programs, courses from your favorite plant-based chefs, doctors, influencers, and fitness people. And it sells for $49, but it's worth over $4,700 if you were to buy each one separately. And every day, up to five times a day during the bundle, which expires at 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, March 2nd, and then it's gone forever, I'm going to have one of the creators come and do a recipe or talk about their product. And so today I am meeting for the first time Elena from Yelly's Belly. It's very nice to meet you. I've seen you like, you know, in groups and on your socials, but I've never met you. Yeah, same here. Seen you in the groups and the videos on the lives, but never had the pleasure of actually you know, talking to you. So nice. Well, to well, I'm excited because I love the name Yelly's Belly. Like, what is that? Like, tell me about the name of your company. It's Yelly's Belly. Like, so I, when I started my Instagram, I called it the vegan bowl. Um, and when I started my Instagram, I had absolutely no intention of, you know, creating a business out of this. I just, I went vegan in 2016. I said, you know what? I'll share recipes, share what I eat, maybe inspire others to do so. And I doing that and going vegan, I just grew a passion for the kitchen. I, I grew up not knowing how to cook. My mom rarely ever cooked, but I moved away for college. Um, And I'm like, okay, I have to learn how to cook. So I just got really creative and I enjoy it. And I started posting more. And then I was like, I don't like my name the vegan bowl. Um, so actually I, I didn't even come up with the name Yelly's belly, but it's literally like Yelly's belly and just posting what goes in my belly. (laughs) I love it. I think that's great. So you said you came vegan in 2016. That's about six years ago. What inspired you? So I saw the documentary earthlings. Um, I saw that and it was pretty intense, pretty powerful. And I'm like, I don't want to contribute to any harm for animals anymore. So I did pescatarian for a little bit and then mentally time went by and I just didn't want any animal products at all. And that's when I just went vegan. That's great. Um, That's awesome. Did anybody else around you go vegan at the same time? Friends or family? Were you able to inspire any of them? Um, no one in my family is vegan. Um, yeah, like friends and partners, like, but no, no one in my family is vegan. Uh, you know, they, they like to try like vegan food here and there, but it's not their thing, unfortunately. Aww. But I do inspire them to eat healthier. Like whenever, you know, my dad actually right now, he's been eating more plant-based. He's actually having some really bad inflammation in his joints. So he's like, oh, you know, I think about you every day. I've been eating tofu and lentils. So it's cool to see, you know, my dad eating more plant-based. You know, it's so interesting because I've been vegan for 45 years and I've never seen the movie Earthlings. What drew you to watch that film? Because I hear it's a very difficult film to watch. Yeah, someone told me to watch it. They're like, you got to watch this film. Wow. Like, you have to watch it. It's super powerful. Yeah, it's, it's basically footage of, what's in the slaughterhouses. So it's really, really intense. It was the first one I saw. And then I saw Cowspiracy. Um, I might've seen Forks Over Knives. And that just, every every time I watched a new film, it just confirmed to me, like, I need to do this. You know, it's so funny that you mentioned the exact three films that I always say, if people watched the trifecta, Forks Over Knives, Cowspiracy, and earthlings, one that deals with the compassion, one that deals with the health, and one that deals with the environment, everyone would go vegan, but they don't. And and, and you would think that like, it would be required viewing, like maybe even like maybe high school, you know? Yeah. Yeah. If only instead they actually, um, hold on, I've got boiling water here. They show out, um, that, that documentary where this guy, he was super healthy and super fit. And then he ate McDonald's for 30 days for breakfast. They show that one, um, I guess, which is cool because it's showing people how bad fast food is for you. And most of it is all animal products. But if they showed Earthlings and Cowspiracy and now Seaspiracy in schools, I totally think more people would choose vegan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
I am so excited because we were talking about this on the last show because somebody had asked me, you know, what would my last meal be? And I said nachos. So nachos is my favorite food in the whole world. Oh, and we're making nachos today. <laughs> no, so thank you. I can't wait. And, you know, and I love cauliflower and I love potatoes. So I can't wait to see your interpretation. And, oh, before you start cooking, what book do you have in the bundle? And what have you noticed in the bundle that like caught your eye? So I have the five day vegan challenge in the bundle. Um, I was inspired to create a challenge instead of a recipe ebook. Well, I've been part of two bundles prior and I always submitted a recipe ebook. Um, so I wanted to do something different. And actually recently I published a 30 day vegan challenge myself because, you know, I do have like a coaching program, but I wanted to make something that was quicker and something that didn't when sometimes not everyone needs such a high level of support. So I wanted to make something more available and affordable for people who are just maybe getting started. And I said, okay, I'll make a little preview of the 30 day vegan challenge. But with just that five day vegan challenges, I personally think it's super effective because anyone who just starts eating plant-based in the next three days, I mean, you feel a difference immediately. Um, and I've had people tell me the same things like, yeah, you know, I just, I had, I was vegan for the whole day and I didn't feel bloated or sluggish. Um, so that, that's what I have in the, in the vegan day, in the, in the bundle five day challenge and it's all recipes and it includes a workout plan as well for you. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Cool. So how many, uh, how many eBooks have you written so far? Um, Three recipe ebooks, three recipe ebooks. Yes, that's great. Yep, two two of them are fully raw vegan, and one of them is not, which is my first one. I love my first one. It it uh, it brings me back memories of like my very beginner recipes because it has like the very first recipes that I ever came out with. So it's pretty interesting to watch. When you went vegan six years ago, did you notice any difference in the way you felt, the way you looked? Yes. So I actually used to be uh, underweight. I, I was anemic as well. Um, and the doctors told me I needed to eat more meat because I my iron levels were super low. Um, but that was actually like three years before I even decided to go vegan. Um, I noticed a change in my energy levels um my focus my motivation uh i actually gained weight on the vegan diet because i was eating a lot a lot of the the vegan junk foods way too much of it all the processed like the burgers and the beyond meat and stuff so it was actually during uh 2020 beginning of the year that i was like i hate looking like this so i decided to eat more plant-based whole foods and eliminate the processed junk foods. And in 60 days, I lost 23 pounds. My skin was better. Uh, my energy. Uh, overall, I felt like such a much better person. That's great. When, when you were not plant-based, were you a healthy eater? Were you a, more of a junk food eater? Um, no, I, I grew up not eating a lot of junk food. Like I, I never, ate, I've, I've never had a burger from like McDonald's or Wendy's or Burger King. I was more of a seafood eater. Um, my, you know, a lot of like clams and fish and salmon and stuff like that. Never, not a really a junk food eater. Um, but I had, all I had was animal products. I did have a lot of pizza and pasta sides. But that's that's the most junk foodie I kind of got. Cool. Well, you have a fan on Misfit Vegan says, love you, Elena. Jeanette, oh, Jeanette, she's awesome. She's awesome. She actually lives like 30 minutes away from me. That's great. Do you guys hang out? No, we've never <laughs> we've never hung out. I had a fruit meetup uh, with a friend about three months ago. No, two months ago, but Jeanette couldn't make it. So Jeanette, we got to make plans to, to hang out. Oh, here's a question. How did you correct the anemia plant-based? I always worry about that. I just, I, uh, I started eating vegan food. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't want to take any pills 
or eat more meat. I, I had no idea what the vegan diet was when I was, um, diagnosed, but something in me was like, no, you're wrong. Like, I, I don't think that that is the answer for me. I didn't want to eat more meat. So, um, I started eating other foods that were higher in iron. I know spinach and lentils, um, and other leafy greens, but I didn't, I didn't fully go vegan yet. So, um, but just incorporating those more foods into my diet did help me. And when I was fully vegan, the first time I got my blood work done, I was no longer anemic. I was fine. That's fantastic. Chlorella has a lot. Someone said Chlorella has a lot of iron in it. Thank you. And so does, I mean, so does uh, spinach. Spinach. Yeah. Spinach. That was the, the main uh, food I started eating more. Very cool. Yeah. Hey, what, tell us about what you eat like on a daily basis. People love to know that. Okay. So I actually have a smoothie here that I'm still finishing from earlier because I, I do about two liters of a smoothie. That's my breakfast every morning. This one here is a strawberry, pineapple, and dragon fruit. And um, for lunch, I like to do a salad. I'll add potato or falafel to it. Um, I use my air fryer every single time for those. It's over there. Um, and then for lunch, I'll have a more warm, heartier meal. I'll do like cauliflower gnocchi. I'll do a pasta. Um, it, it really varies. It changes. I like to, personally, me, I like diversity. Um, and I like different flavors and textures and smells. So I'll come up with these random things and I'll post it on my story and people are like, what's the recipe? And I'm like, I don't know. I just came up with it. Um, but yeah, smoothies, salads, and then my warm, heartier meal will be at night. I like to keep it more raw throughout the day and then I'll start eating my cooked food at night. That makes sense. Cause I like, I, I find raw food very energizing and stimulating. Yes. And whereas cooked food kind of grounds me more. So I think, I think that's great. Cause yeah, I tend to eat more like the raw salad -y stuff and fruit in the daytime and at dinner. I just want to like be like full and like knocked out. Do you, um, do you make your own cauliflower gnocchi? No, no, I've never tried it. Um, I actually get mine from Trader Joe's. I don't know if you've ever heard of Trader Joe's. Oh, gosh. it's only my favorite store in the world. And I live <laughs> next door to one for 30 years. It's the only place I can't live without, but I've never seen them there. Is it in the refrigerated section? No. Oh, so they have non-frozen and frozen. I get these. This is the frozen one. Um, and it's good ingredients. It's just cauliflower, cassava flour, potato starch, um, olive oil, and sea salt. Well, I'm going to check that out. I've never seen them. Yeah, and they have a kale gnocchi as well, um, if you want to do kale instead. Yeah, so they have that one, and they have some that's not frozen, uh, if you want to get that one, which is really good, too. Yeah, that's, you'll like it. And it's, I mean, for people who are trying to lose weight, it's actually a perfect dish because it's so low in calorie. I mean, one of these whole things is only 330 calories. And this will fill you up. So just, you know, put in a, a marinara sauce or a homemade cheese sauce that you make with it. And it's a great meal. And of course, vegetables are super low in calorie. So you can add as many veggies and you'll be fine. High volume, low calorie. I'm a volume eater for sure. Yes, me too. Me too. So right here, I'm, um, I'm just cutting the potatoes. So I'm cutting them into thin strips like this, as if they were like chips. Do you have any of my favorite tools, like an Instant Pot or an air fryer? Yeah, so I have an air fryer. This is my Ninja air fryer. Um, I also have an Instant Pot. I have the BioChef. I'm sure you've heard all about it. <laughs> is that the vacuum blender? I don't know what yes. that is. Yeah, so that's the, um, and we will be using it for today's recipe. So it like, brings a new pitcher. These are the, the tops. And uh, I'll show you when I make the sauce. But yeah, this is what, what takes out all of the air from the blender. And what it does is it enhances the color and the flavor. Um, but really it removes all of the air 
So what's inside doesn't oxidize and it also helps with preventing bloating and gas since we're removing all of the air. That's very cool. Um, uh, John Kohler recommends that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, he does. I uh, thank you, Lissa and Nate, if you're watching for recommending it because it is life changing. Wow, I can't, I just can't imagine. I'd like to see it in action. Like, I mean, in front of me, not on. We're gonna, uh, uh, as soon as I finish cutting the potatoes and cauliflower, um, we're gonna make the cheese sauce, which I'm really excited to share this cheese uh, sauce recipe with everyone. So I've cut the, the potatoes here in the little slices. And um, now I'm gonna cut the cauliflower. I actually already have potato and cauliflower made here in the oven. Um, you know, since we don't have like a whole hour and a half, I already have them made here, ready for us to use as soon as I, but I wanted a demo, you know, actually cutting some of the, what does your apron say? Cause I don't have the best eyes and I don't want to put my glasses on. So this says new day farms. Um, this is actually a microgreens company. Um, it's in Virginia. Yeah. So I actually want to get an apron with Yelly's belly embroidered on it, just like this. Uh, if anyone knows where I can get that, I was, I'm thinking of looking on Etsy, but, um, which I'm sure I'll find it there. But that's what my apron says. New day farms. I love microgreens. So I have a cauliflower head here. So I cut about three yellow potatoes, the yellow potatoes that look like this. Um, and by the way, this recipe is gluten-free, it's oil-free, and it can be made nut-free. So it can be low fat. So the only place that there are nuts is for the cheese sauce, but the way we can make it nut-free is by replacing the cashews with tofu. Do you eat tofu? I only don't because I'm allergic. So what I, what I've done in like, you know, people can use beans sometimes in the cheese sauces in, instead, or yeah, um, you can use, I've, I've used cauliflower, but you're already using cauliflower. Cauliflower is great. I actually have a cheese sauce recipe. Um, and it's cauliflower, uh, and potato based. Um, it's delicious. So, but what you can do if you're allergic to soy, like you said, you can use, I would recommend cannelli beans or white navy beans. Yeah, yeah, cannellini beans, that's a good one. Cannellini, yeah, I always say cannelli and it's cannellini. That's okay, I knew what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the cauliflower, we wanna cut it into like, kind of like slices, it's, it's pretty difficult. Um, to do that, it's not gonna be perfect slices like the potatoes, but just, you don't wanna cut it too small. So just let the stem uh, direct you in um, how you're cutting it. So wait, are you live on YouTube and Instagram too? Yeah, and Twitter, you're on all three. Oh, wow. So we're on live on your Instagram right now? Yeah, oh no, no, it doesn't go to Instagram, but if, if we can go less than an hour, I'll put it on Instagram. You're on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Oh, cool. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. So here are the cauliflower and the potatoes all cut. Again, trying to make it like chips shape. And um, these go in the oven. So this is, these are the ones that are already made. Oh, those look delicious. Yeah, they literally look like potato chips. So depending if you want them soft or crispy, that's the amount of time you cook them for. I have some soft ones and some crispy ones. Um, I mean, normally nachos comes with crispy. So you want to make them a little bit more on the crispy side. Um, and by the way, I use a silicone sheet over my pan. Uh, so it doesn't stick and I don't have to use, I don't have to add any oil to it and, and it doesn't stick. It's yeah, I love those silicone baking mats. They're the best. They're the best. It comes right off. 
So um, now we're gonna make the cheese sauce. So technically these are already made, but if you're making them, I'll just put these on the silicone sheet, bake them at 425 degrees. I would say for like 40, 45 minutes. Um, for the cheese sauce, I boiled some cashews. Um, you, if you don't have to boil them, so you can make this cheese sauce a raw version too. You don't boil them, but you'll have to soak them at least for like six hours, but I boiled them to speed up the process. And it's not a raw recipe anyways. Um, but here's what it gets replaced if you don't want to use cashews with the cannellini beans or the tofu. Um, there's a question from Andrea. Do you speak Spanish? I do. So do you have recipes in Spanish that I could share with family and friends that don't speak English? You know, I don't, but it could be something that I can create if, you know, uh, if that'll be helpful to like the Latin community. I would definitely be open to doing that. Yeah. Maybe, uh, Andrea, you can reach out to me. Tell me, like, what kind of recipes you're looking for, more raw or more cooked, so I kind of know what ebook to make in Spanish. That's a really great idea. That's a really great idea. Yeah, I should do that. So, no, the answer is no, but I can. <laughs> So I've got my boiled cashews here. So right now we're making the, the cashew sauce. And um, I think I put, oh, I put um, one tablespoon of miso paste. And what the, for this cheese sauce, what's gonna make it look cheesy is um, we're gonna use carrots as well. So I have organic carrots here. Normally it's a one stick. So I would say like four of these will equal one stick. And some nutritional yeast. Wow. Do you have the recipe pulled up there? Of, of what you're making? Yeah. How would I have the recipe? Is it somewhere? Oh, you mean like, like, like in the bundle? You want me to go look for it? It's in the bun though. Yeah. I, um, I can't remember exactly the season. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I can do that bundle. Wait a minute. Oh gosh. You're funny. Okay. I can certainly pull it up because I actually, I actually have the plant-based bundle, which I hope you guys will consider getting, or at least click on the description when you see what all the items are. Here it is. Let me click it up. Yeah. There's, there's 111 things there. So let me tell me the name of your book so I can Five day vegan challenge. Oh, you know what? Because of it's, it's got a number, you're number two in the queue. So here we go. Oh, that's a great picture of you. You look like you're kind of working out there. Do you, do you exercise a lot? Yes. Yes. I, uh, I got to move every day. I got to move or else I feel like a little anxious and sluggish. I work out. Yeah. I was, I had just finished doing an ab workout in that photo outside. I love working out outside. Okay. So I'm, I'm okay. Lunch. Oh, here's your book. It's beautiful. Let's see. You have, you have a, you have a, a veggie fried quinoa and, and there's no oil in it guys. Even, you know, just because there's a little Trader Joe thing, a little oil, there's no oil in any of her recipes or any of the recipes in the bundle for that matter. Oh, you've got a beautiful Thai peanut salad. Well, that looks delicious. Ooh, yum. Uh, Cause I'm looking for your other recipe while yeah. we're doing that. You've got a couple of smoothie collard green wraps. Yum. Okay. All right. I'm getting there. Let's see. I'm sure it's here. Yeah. It's uh, it's more towards the end. Okay. Avocado mambo. That would be cauliflower nachos. Okay. What would you like me to tell you? The queso. So go to like the second or third page of the recipe. Okay. So uh, what would you like to know? I can. So how much nutritional yeast? Four tablespoons. I use Trader Joe's brand. Yeah, so I have the Trader Joe's brand and I want to talk about that because I actually, this is the last Trader Joe's of it that I have because I, I wanted to find a healthier alternative to the Trader Joe's one. It kind of has, um, I, you know, I would say about a year and a half ago, I started to be very um, picky with the vegan ingredients that I consume because it's just like the vegan junk foods, you know, with all that oil and the sodium and whatever else preservatives are in there. 
there are certain foods like nutritional yeast or maybe a vegan dressing at the grocery store that doesn't contain good ingredients. So I, I then noticed like a few weeks ago that the Trader Joe's brand isn't the best. And it's funny when I noticed just like four days before I had just bought four of these because I use it like crazy. Um, and I found a better one. It's called Anthony's Goods and it's organic and it's clean ingredients. So I recommend buying Anthony's Goods for nutritional yeast. Or I got this one from a local farmer's market. It's clean ingredients. It's just um, organic nutritional yeast, some rice flour and sea salt. So you can also go to a local market and find one that's better ingredients. Okay, how much onion powder? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, aren't you glad I have the bundle? Okay, onion powder is, a, wow, a sixth of a teaspoon. I've never seen that measurement before. Oh, I only have up to one eighth. So I'm yeah. going to do one eighth. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. That was my brain um, guesstimating how much I put it. How much turmeric? Turmeric. We have, it is calling for one eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric and one eighth of oregano and one cup of water. Cool. And then there's also chili flakes. Yeah, that's a quarter, it's a quarter tablespoon. So a quarter tablespoon would be. Like this. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I got these on Amazon. They're amazing. They're magnetic, so you can stack them up together. And um, and um, they have the measurements on it. I used to have another one that it, it was like painted on it. So I lost all of the numbers on it. And how much pink Himalayan salt? Let's see. Sorry, I got the chat open. I got the, um, yeah, it says I mean, one eighth, one eighth of a teaspoon. Cool. Yeah. Let me know what they say in the, in the chat too, if they say anything. I love listening to what the chat says. Okay. So I've got all my ingredients here and I'm going to pour the water. It's a cup of water. And here comes the bio chef in action. Grab it out of here. I'm telling you, if I were to make you two smoothies, if I were to make you two smoothies and you don't know which one I bio chef and you close your eyes and you take a sip from each of them, you will be able to tell which one is bio chefs because it tastes that much better. That's incredible. So I put on the special tops and I put it here and I press this button and now it's sucking out all of the air. And you know, when I'm in the kitchen, I like to clean up as I go. So at the end, I don't have this huge mess to clean up. I don't know if you're the same. I just don't like to clean up at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We got 14 people on my Instagram. Hey guys. Um, Okay, and then it's vacuum sealed. So you see the top went down and indented. There's no air in here. And you have to have, um, there are some models of the Vitamix that don't, are not compatible with the pitcher that comes with the Bio Chef. So if you're ever interested, definitely make sure that the model of your Vitamix is compatible. Hey, Deborah wants to know what is it exactly you didn't like about the Trader Joe's nutritional yeast? It has weird stuff. It has um, folic acid. 
thiamine hydrochloride. Yeah. Like these are ingredients I could barely pronounce. And personally, I think that if we can barely pronounce them, we should not be consuming them. Yeah. Um, and it's not organic. Right. So it's so vegan. Doc, Dr. Furman, who's my guest right after you, says he only recommends non-fortified without all the things in it. Yeah, exactly. And the brand Anthony's Goods has nutritional yeast and this one that I have from a local farmer's market. It, it's organic and it doesn't have any of those weird ingredients. So that's why I don't recommend the, the Trader Joe's one. Okay, so I'm gonna blend this and we're gonna watch it turn from this to creaminess. Yeah, this looks great. I thought I was going to have to add more carrots. Um, definitely, guys, do not add more than a cup of water. I mean, even three-fourths could be good, but um, don't add too much. Okay, so now we lift this. And um, mm, it smells so good. I wish you guys could taste it. Now we do a taste test, always important. So this is the cheese sauce. That's beautiful. Hey, there's a question about that blender, about why it's so great to have the air sucked out. So there's only pros, no cons to vacuum blending uh, in the smoothies. And the pros are one, it enhances the taste and texture. So before I got the vacuum blender, my smoothies were pretty like grainy. I don't even add ice, um, but they're pretty grainy, not as smooth as I would want them to be. Um, so it enhances the flavor as well. 100% the flavor is so much better. Um, and then it's removing all of the air. So it's your fruit or whatever you're blending doesn't get oxidized with the air and it doesn't get blended with the air so you don't get bloated or gassy we're not we're not drinking and eating a bunch of air it's just a food that we put in the blender so that's why i i highly recommend it they give you a new pitcher the tops that belong with it um and then of course the bio chef all you have to have is your compatible model of the Biomix. And I'm not even sponsored by these people. This is just such a great product. It's, it's life-changing. Even my brother, he comes over and he's super excited for the smoothies because he doesn't have the BioChef. Wow. I he wish like, it, like, you know, at Costco, they sell the Vitamix and they demo it. I wish they would demo that. Yeah, that'd be great. Maybe John uh, should, you know, talk to Costco see you see what's up so um okay so this is the cheese sauce and i have a lot extra this this um the measurements for the recipe you will have extra which is fine like this will totally last you up to like five days in the fridge so if you want to make extra batch of the nachos if you want to use this for like a chickpea pasta sauce um or the cauliflower gnocchi itself you could totally do that. Um, 
And now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna chop the toppings that go over the nachos. We wanna do this last because we don't want your nachos and your cauliflower to get soggy. Diane says, what exactly do you do for exercise? So oh, um, I love this question because I, I get a lot of people telling me they don't want to exercise because they don't want to do the same thing and be bored. Um, what I do is I go to the gym. I personally really like to lift weights. It makes me feel really strong <laughs> and really good. I like to do outdoor workouts, which include either walking or jogging. I'll do an ab workout outside. I'll play some volleyball with some friends. Um, and yeah, for, you know, at the gym, I'll, I'll do like my routine for upper body and lower body. And um, this weekend I went bike riding, uh, mountain bike riding. So that was my workout for Sunday. That's, you know, I, I like to give a do variety. Some days I'm not in the mood for the gym. So, you know, I'll go do something else. Can I ask how old you are? I, I'm guessing like 20. 20, you think I'm 20? 22? Um, uh oh, you're younger. Shoot. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, 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 people think I'm like 18. But well, I, I mean, I thought you were younger, but then I thought, well, she's doing all this stuff. She must be out of college. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely out of college. I would not have the time to be like full time entrepreneur and healthy lifestyle advocate if I was in college. Um, I'm 25. Oh, you look great. That's amazing. I love that you're doing this so young. I, so many of us, the people watching, wish they had this knowledge to go plant-based when they were younger. Uh, yeah, but hey, you know what? It's fine because if you have the knowledge now, it's, it's not too late. You know, it doesn't matter if you're 25 or 45 or 55. If you start incorporating healthy foods into your diet and not just foods, but healthy habits, you can feel amazing, you know, for the rest of your years, you don't have to, you don't have to continue doing the same routines that you don't like just because it's been a routine all your life. Yep. You know, so, um, and I still have a lot to learn, but I, uh, it's been great. Veganism changed my life. That is wonderful. Yeah. And um, by the way, for these nachos, I'm topping it off with bell peppers and onions, uh, mushrooms, uh, and cilantro, but feel free to get creative. I'm using yellow onion. If you really like red onion, you can do that. That's the, the great thing about all of these vegan recipes is sometimes you can Look at this beautiful cilantro. It's so pretty. Um, sometimes we can swap out different toppings and the recipe will still taste delicious. Uh, but definitely I would say stick to the, to the recipe for the sauce. Um, unless you're switching out the cashews for like cannellini beans or, or the tofu. Um, but everything else, I would say, keep it, keep it the same. Do you like uh, balsamic vinegar at all? I love balsamic vinegar. Because you know what? I, I just realized you've never been on my show before. So as a first time guest living in the United States, you get two free bottles. Oh, really? Yep. I don't tell people that because then everybody would come on the show just for the vinegar. <laughs> so wait, you make the balsamic vinegar? No, I don't. Thomas Allen owns a wonderful company in Ukiah, California called California Balsamic. And he makes a lot of fruity flavors. But what I really like is he makes a lot of savory flavors. And if you like spicy, he has a blazing habanero. Oh. <laughs> it's really delicious. And so you can pick two, two flavors and he'll send them to you like in a couple. Oh, amazing. Thank you. That's You're so what, welcome. What you know, it's so funny because I don't know if you were in the last bundle that I was in, but there was over a hundred people and I put a 
like a notice out saying, would anybody like to be on my show? And literally one person said, yes, can you believe it? And that's why when people say, why don't you have so-and-so and so-and-so on the show? Cause like the young people, I don't mean like, I'm not, I don't mean like I'm generalizing young people like you, like there's something wrong, but a lot of the younger people that are influencers, they don't want to be on an old lady show, but then, Hey, if they knew they were getting vinegar, you know, listen, even if you didn't give me the vinegar, I would love to be on your show like every month. You know, it's funny you mentioned that. I was in the Ultimate Raw Vegan Bundle and I didn't reach out to be on your show because I thought, I think I saw it like a week later and I'm like, she's booked. There's no point. And look at that. Yeah, yeah. but it, it actually, that bundle people did want to be on the show and I, but it was a different bundle I was on with people that I didn't know because I, I don't really go on Instagram very much. And, and it was like, God, it was like really like literally one person. And I'm like, but I can really help promote you and it's really fun and you'll get free vinegar, but no, nope, not interested. But uh, anyway, I thank you. I thank you as a young person for gracing my channel with your presence. Oh, well, thank you. I, I, oh, that's so sweet. I'm happy to be here. Honored to be here. I'm like, oh my God, Chef AJ, because Lisson, you know, always talks so highly of you and I see you. Oh, going she's by. the greatest. I'll tell you without Lisson, there'd be no bundle. There would just be the idea of the bundle because she knew how to make it happen. And guys, you're asking about the vinegar every uh, month. We have Thomas Allen on and you can always get two free, very small bottles with any order just by saying Chef AJ. Cool. Thanks for the nice comment page. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, and do you only how do, how do like I like let's say I want to come on your show again? Yeah, like, just just email me because I'm booking for July, so you can come back in July. And also, also a lot of people like to be on a cancellation list, and so yeah, please just email me. Okay, so you're all the way booked till July. I am. I try to book like about six months out because there's just, I, I, I mean, this is very unique that I'm doing five shows a day for bundle week, but normally I like to do one show a day because I'm really trying to finish my book and I got to have some time for that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. So, um, okay, cool. Good to know. I'll book you out for July. So right now I'm topping off with the peppers um, and the onions. And then um, I like to do the cilantro last. But, um, wait, do you have a dog? Cause people are asking to meet your dog. <laughs> Who knows that I have a dog? Yes, I have. Um, a, 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 uh, somebody from Oregon, a Aiden, Oregon. Um, maybe he follows me. Yeah. Should I grab my dog? Yeah. Why not? I love dogs. I love my dog. Her name is pink. Pink. They want to see you. Here she is. <laughs> oh, um, that is so precious, you know? Yeah, she's a sweetie. She's a little chihuahua and uh, she's actually almost 14. Oh, precious. Yeah, this is pink. Say hi. She's the best. She's a... Uh, too sweet. I've had her all my life. So uh, needless to say, we're very attached. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to cut um, a little bit of the red pepper and then we get to pour the cheese sauce. That's the best part. Um, also, um, Chef AJ, I don't know if you have this tool. This is the... Uh, the hand blender and you attach this here. And if you don't have this, this is game changer. Um, I like to blend it for creamy soups and sometimes creamy sauces. So if you're making something in a big pot and you don't wanna put it into a blender, like I've totally made a, a potato leek soup the other day and I use this, you just blend it after. Um, it does wonders. It blends it like as good as the blender pretty much. I wouldn't say it would be good for like this sauce, but for a soup where you have just like vegetables and potatoes, that hand blender is game changer. Cause I know you said you have like favorite kitchen tools. So I wanted to see if you had that. Very cool. What are your favorite kitchen tools? Um, well, this, the, the hand blender. 
uh, the Vitamix, the Bio Chef, and the Air Fryer. I have an Instant Pot. I don't use it that much, but you know, it's great for people who are like really busy and have to go to work. Um, you can just prep some recipes for the week with the Instant Pot. All right, so here we are. We're gonna pour the sauce. Yummy. God, that looks amazing. Check it out. And then we top it off with cilantro. There we go. Look at these nachos. Definitely going to take a photo for my Instagram. And that is how you make the um, cauliflower nachos, potato cauliflower nachos. Very quick, very easy, very simple, minimal ingredients. I, I like to share recipes that, you know, people don't have to go to like a million stores to find uh, the special ingredient. I like to make them very beginner friendly. Um... It's a great, people love your dog's name. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Does, um, she, sing, does she sing like pink? <laughs> no, uh, only in her sleep. Sometimes she's dreaming. She's like, ruff, ruff. but no, she wasn't even named after pink. That's just like a random name that that was came up with. Like my mom came up with it. Oh. question where are you based not your exact address somebody actually did that on the show once but <laughs> um I'm in for like near Fort Lauderdale do you ever go to the, those the, I mean I don't know if that's near you Miami fruit company that I keep hearing about oh Miami fruit I've gotten fruit from Miami fruit yes um they're about like an hour south of me they're all the way in Homestead but yeah super great fruit I mean when I go to some vegan events and some markets, they have a pop-up as well, but uh, they're all the way in Homestead. Have you ever had the egg fruit? Yes, it's really good. It's really good. It's uh, really good. Yeah. Sunita says, what kind of miso were you using? So I was using this. It's a cold mountain yellow white miso. That one's it. I actually, um, Lissa was the one who inspired me to use miso paste I never used it till I I buy a ebook from her and she used it in her dressings yeah miso is great because it lasts forever it lasts forever and I feel like it helps with adding really good consistency to whatever you're blending um good flavor I think it completes it yeah mm, these smell good they these look amazing uh Nora says, make some rice with some chicken substitute for flavors for the Latin community. Rice mm. with chicken substitutes. Okay. So you like <laughs> rice bowls. Yeah. The typical, my mom, you know, my family, they all like eat rice and just some sort of meat protein and barely any vegetables um, for rice and chicken substitutes. Okay. And there's a question that instead of the cashews, could you use cashew butter? No. No. Um, I mean, I've never tried it. I don't want to say yes. And that it's going to be the same. I, I would just use cashews. I don't even know what the measurement would be. No, it wouldn't be the same. No, <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah. Nice. No, no cashew butter. Okay. So well, that sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I have this extra sauce and I'm just going to put it in a in a Tupperware. And I wanted to show you guys um, this tool that I use right here to get out the rest of the sauce. Look at that cheese sauce. So good. Um, this little spoon thingy, it's the best because it's it's silicone and you're not scratching or damaging the blades in the blender and you personally I want to get everything out of the blender I don't want to waste anything yeah 
This sauce is so creamy and velvety. It's so good. Velvety. I've never heard that for a sauce. What does that mean? You know, just, just very smooth and luxurious. That is because the Vitamix and the BioChef are amazing things. Like you can't make this sauce with the big Ninja blender. You just can't because the blades are in the middle. They're not at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, you have a recipe for a zoodle pesto pasta. I'm looking at your book now. I should pull up every contributor's book while they, have you had time to look at any of the other books in the bundle? Um, I actually have not, but I, is there one that I should look at first? Well, no, I mean, it just depends what you're interested in. Like uh, to, later on, my guest is how to dress for you. So I'm interested, that kind of interests me because it's not just about weight loss because you don't have to need to lose weight to be in this bundle. That's what we called it because so many of the other vegan bundles included oil and things like that. But th that one looks really intriguing to me. What's the uh, recipe that you're making next? Well, it's, um, it's not a recipe. My next guest is Joel Furman. So Dr. Joel Furman, we're not making a recipe, but I have the guest on that contributed the book, How to Dress for You. She's a, an image consultant. And I thought that was a really interesting uh, submission. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. I'm really excited to, to learn about all of this because I, like the other bundles I've been in, it's pretty much just all been recipes. So I've got thousands of recipes for life, but I, I know that there's just a lot of like trainings and tips and not just recipes in this bundle. I'm, I'm excited to dive into it 100%. Great. Well, thank you. This was a wonderful presentation. Thank you for having me. This was fun. I have a bad habit of leaving cabinets. So, <laughs> so I, I look forward to having you back in July for another great recipe. Yes, I look forward to being here. I don't know what we'll make, but we'll make something yummy, but... Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, we made the potato cauliflower nachos with a cheesy sauce. Um, and look at all this extra that I have for later. No, that'd be great on like broccoli or any vegetable, really. Yeah, broccoli. I actually just got a gluten-free pasta. I went grocery shopping this morning. So maybe I'll do some broccoli and carrots with like a mac and cheesy type of feel. That sounds great. Well, thanks so much, Elena, And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back in one hour when we have another wonderful bundle contributor. I'm sure you're familiar with Dr. Joel Furman and he's contributed a book to the bundle and he's going to be talking about, is it really possible to live to hundred? Well, you'll know in 75 years, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In 75 years, I'll know. Wow. I want to join in on that live. Um, yeah. I'll through your YouTube channel, right? Absolutely. I mean, just on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Nice to meet you, Yelena.